Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Me and my children's life, um, it was pretty awful I mean, we were in a house that just had no water and electricity and their father was so controlling and he would not let me work and he would not let us leave. He would barely let us go to the grocery store. He wouldn't let me go by myself for sure. He wasn't letting us go to get the kids to school. And on top of that, he was just beating on me and constantly just verbally abusing, putting me down. I mean, the kids are just, I could just see it in their eyes all the time. They wanted to leave. The two younger ones would cry and, you know, one, they were just so confused. You could just tell on their face, they don't know if they should go, come to me or go to their dad. Or, you know, they're just so confused on their little faces. And then they get, even the older ones, they got so used to it, they just, they just acted like it wasn't even happening. They just like got, went on with their day, you know what I mean? I um, called the cops the one of the times that he was hitting me, and they asked me if um, if they wanted if I wanted them to call the Southwest Safe House for me, and if I would go there, and I told them yes. Please call them. <laughs> we moved into this Southwest Safe House, and ever since um, my kids. I've been enrolled in school, going to school every day, and they're happy, so happy. They got to trick or treat for the first time this year. I just, I'm feeling proud of myself being here, and what I see is just my kids being happy and having a normal life. Well, I've, I've always been independent. I always had a job. I lived a very good life. Well, I'm a runner, so I always run in the morning or when I have time, I run. And it's, it clears my mind, you know. It, it's, it's good for stress, it's good for frustrations. When I came back from Europe, you know, I had divorced and I, I left my family there. I got two kids and I don't know, it just felt the loss. You no, know, it hurts. And I, <laughs> I turned to drinking. I, even in Europe, I was sober. Eventually, I, I got charged with the DEI. So I was driving back and forth from Farmington to here for my court. <clears throat> and well, back in March, uh, my car got stolen. So I was, I was living in my car already and I had all my belongings. And so after losing my car, I didn't know what to do, you know. I lost all my clothes, my running gear. I'm an artist too, all my paint brushes. I had them for years <clears throat> and everything I had was stolen. And I ran in, after some weeks, I ran into somebody down there and he told me about the shelter. And so I, ca I called here, I got the number and eventually they told me that they had a place. So I came here and since then I'd, I've been, and I found a job also because I was running out of money and I, mean, I could pay for myself, but uh, me, I had to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to the court and to the jail. And it has been hard to, to be homeless, you know, to have nothing, and especially uh, to sleep in the cold, and that, that hurts. I never in my life I have thought about that, but it happened. Kind of ashamed for myself for a long time, but there's, I saw no other way, so. Me, I want to get my life back, and I want to get back on my feet, that's what I want. I got into a argumentative altercation with my spouse, and um, of course alcohol was involved. He took off with our daughter, uh, got into an accident, totaled our vehicle. He was drinking so much to where he started having seizures, and he literally almost like killed himself on accident. The reason I didn't leave is because me and him had been together for like my whole entire life. I met him when I was 15 years old, I'm 33. And then on top of that, um, 
he ended up making sort of like a lie saying that I had physically assaulted him and knowingly did it. So the next day, um, two sheriff came for me and they ended up arresting me. Um, went to jail for like two days, which was crazy because, you know, like I'm an early childhood education teacher. I have no criminal background. We lost our house because we were living on the landlord's property. And because of all the sheriff activity and whatnot, he told us we could not stay there anymore. That put me out of work for two weeks um, because I had to get clearance from not only my job, but from state licensing to see if I can even work with an assault. So that's when I made the phone call to the safe house to see if we can come. They gave us activities for myself and my daughter, which kept so much off my mind while this whole process was ongoing. So I had a place to stay, you know, there's showers, bathrooms, you know, they, I didn't even know they provided food. Um, and, you know, it was just a big weight off my shoulder. It gives me that confidence to tell them, no, you can't come back into our lives. I honestly don't know what I would have done if it wasn't for the safe house. I probably would have been living in my car somewhere around here <laughs> waiting for housing. I feel so much more hopeful. I have left the situation before and gone back. <laughs> but having the safe house as an alternative, you know, somewhere to go that I can go and I know it's safe. And I'm so grateful that there is a place like that. To end up in this mess, you know, it's kind of hard. It's hard to swallow, and but I, I just have to learn from it, you know, swallow it and get on with my life. But uh, yeah, it's, it's good to know that there are people like this that, that can you know, reach out to you and help. So I mean, I'm very thankful for that. Since being here, I, I've been sober and I got back into my running and I went into the fast food place and that's where I work now. And but I don't mind, it's, it's a job, so. This afternoon, I have an interview with the railroad, the Silverton, uh, Durango Silverton Railroad, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm thankful I came here, and there were some wonderful people here. I got to keep my job, my charges were dropped, and um, right now I'm looking into going back to school. And my daughter is flourishing in, in school as well. She has more confidence in school because everything that we have gone through has been affecting her as well. You know, having the encouragement from the from the South safe house, just talking with an advocate, you know, it gives me that enlightenment that there's no way that it can be fixed until that person decides that they want to fix themselves. Like, I cannot tell you how many doors opened up for my daughter and I once I let that relationship go. And I'm so grateful for everything that the safe house has done for me.